Boris Johnson roundly rejected Kremlin accusations he is leading an anti-Russian movement today after holding meetings with NATO, G7 and EU leaders. The Prime Minister was in Brussels for an emergency meeting of NATO and the G7 in the face of President Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Leaders gathered to discuss how to further help impose misery on Moscow in punishment for the brutal war and to help Kyiv defend its sovereignty from Russian advances. Western allies have remained in almost constant contact over the past month to present a united front in responding to Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, cooperating to ensure maximum impact against Putin. Britain has led the way in imposing sanctions and providing military support to Ukraine, with the Kremlin today singling out the UK and Mr Johnson for being anti-Russian. This evening, this Prime Minister hit back at claims saying there was not a single person around the table in NATO or the G7 who is against Russia or the Russian people. Rejecting the comments, he told a press conference, absolutely not, least of all me. I think I'm probably the only Prime Minister in UK history to be called Boris, I think I have that distinction, and I'm not remotely anti-Russian. He said, but I think what we all agree is that what Vladimir Putin is doing. The way HES leading Russia at the moment, is utterly catastrophic, that his invasion of Ukraine is inhuman and barbaric. And the conduct of that invasion is now moving into the type of behavior that, as I said before, we haven't seen in the continent of Europe for 80 years, and it's horrific. So you can be sympathetic towards ordinary Russians, who are being so badly led, but you can be deeply hostile to the decisions of Vladimir Putin. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov had said, Mr. Johnson, we see him as the most active participant in the race to be anti-Russian. It will lead to a foreign policy dead end. NATO leaders offered Kyiv new military assistance and assigned more troops to its eastern flank after their meeting this afternoon.